Hey, welcome back everyone to another great episode of Sellers Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we're finding out the jack points for the 2014 Chrysler Town and Country so no one gets hurt. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. As I said, we're going through the jack points for the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country in today's episode. And this has to be one of the most important things for you to do on the setup of your vehicle for the repair. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen jacks fail. I've seen people not set up their jacks right and get crushed. I mean, this is very serious business, guys. It's life and death when you get under that vehicle, so don't forget it because it does happen. Don't think it doesn't, okay? Uh, second thing I wanna uh, cover real quick about uh, my channel. I was uh, hit up by a person the other day who said uh, my videos would be better if my children weren't in it. Uh, that's great. Uh, I have six children uh, and a wife. And they are going to be in my videos. Why? Because I believe fixing your vehicle has become a lost skill. A lost skill, a lost art. And I want my children to be able to help people like I do. I mean, being able to fix your vehicle saves you a crazy amount of money. I'm talking thousands, okay? I mean, an engine swap alone is four or five thousand on average. Uh, a starter can be two to three hundred dollars. I mean, right now, we're in the middle of a pandemic, economic and health wise. You need to save money where you can. So, let's go through the jack points today so you do not get hurt when you're trying to save money and repair your vehicle. Let's jump right in it, guys. All right, so we're looking at the 2014 Chrysler Town and Country. You are jacking up the vehicle and I'm walking around. So it's just like you're standing there right next to me and we're friends, all right? We're, we're walking through this together. There's two different ways that you can jack up your vehicle, okay? First, you need to put chalk blocks behind the rear wheels. Let's do that. All right, with these chalk blocks or pieces of wood in my situation, you can either buy the rubber chalk blocks from uh, the you know, auto parts store or you can use pieces of wood. Happens all the same. We're doing this because when we jack up the front of the vehicle, the back will wanna roll if you have not set the parking brake. So, make sure you set the parking brake, put your chalk blocks in place just to be safe. Now we can go back to the front of the vehicle and check out our jack points. All right guys, parking brake is set, chalk blocks are in place. Now, back to what I was saying before. There's two different ways that you can jack up your vehicle, depending on if you need the left or the right side jacked up. If you just need one side, we can start jacking it up from one of the side rails. But if you need both sides jacked up, we can use the front cross member for the engine. Let me show you where that point is, and then I'll show you the side rails that we're gonna put the jacks under. And if you need only one side, that's where you're gonna jack as well. Let's get under there, guys. All right, guys. Here we are under the front of the vehicle. And here's your front cross member. It actually runs under your engine, supports the actual engine up, okay? Over here is where your radiator would be, okay? On the other side of this metal, okay? This is a very stable and is a part of your frame. As you can see right here, that's one of your engine mounts, okay? So if they put an engine mount on it, you can guarantee this puppy is rock stable, okay? So we're gonna jack up right here. It jacks up both sides at the same time. That way we can go ahead and put our jacks in place. But we need it a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. All right, now we can go ahead and put our jack stands in place on the sides. All 
All right guys, so here we are on the passenger side of the vehicle. As you can see, the jack is up there, tires up off the ground where we want it, and we have our jack stand right here with our, you know, other jack stand over there on that side. Here you are going to see this rail, okay? This is a frame rail and the best place to actually put your jacks. As you see, there's actually little holes there. I'll move you guys in. You see those holes there? A great spot to put the little tooth of your jack. It's gonna hold it right there, nice and steady, okay? If you are jacking from the side of the vehicle, right there in front of it is a great spot to jack from. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little. Here we go. Okay, see that guys? You can just get your jack right there. You put your jack stand right there. Now there's a very important thing that you need to do when setting your jack stands. You need to make sure that they are of the same height. Okay, you can tell by the teeth right there on the jack stand. Count the teeth on the other side. And this side should be the same, unless the elevation is different in any way. Okay, if it's one tooth off because there's a slope in the driveway, that's fine, okay? Or if there's a slope in the street, that's okay as well, okay? Because the next thing we're going to do is test these jack stands. So go ahead and release your jack onto your jack stands, and then we can test the stability of your jack stands. All right, guys, here we are at the rear of the vehicle. Here we are at the rear of the vehicle. If you're wanting to know how you can get the rear of your 2014 Chrysler Town & Country <laughs> jacked up on the rear, this support bar can actually lift the rear of the vehicle. The rear of the vehicle is not very heavy, guys. Okay, Most of your weight in a minivan is at the front, hence why it's front wheel drive unless you have an all wheel drive minivan. Okay. So back here, you have struts. Your strut over there and your strut over there, okay? As you can see, those struts aren't very bulky. Come on, let me get a good shot of it. You got your shocks right there, or your little springs, and then you have your, your strut a little bit ahead of that, okay? You can jack up right here and actually put your jack stands under here as well, okay? You can sit right there on the lip. Uh, I put mine under the nice chunky parts, okay? Your teeth are gonna sit right in here. It'll hold it amazingly, okay? So one jack here, jack up here, and put one jack over there, okay? That is going to support your vehicle in the rear while you do any repair that you're doing back here. I got the struts coming up on the town and country, so I'm really looking forward to it. All right, guys, now that we have our jack stands in place and the jack has released the vehicle onto the jack stands, you want to check the stability. And how are we going to do that? We're going to give it a shake. Looks stable, doesn't it? So, there you go guys. That's the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. After you check the stability, oh, <clears throat> after you check the stability, you're good to go, okay? But you always wanna check the stability. Why? Because I'd rather have the vehicle fall on the jack stand without me under it, than it fall on the jack stand with me under it, okay? Six kids and a wife, guys. You got a life to live, make sure you do it safe, all right? so. Any of the tools or uh, parts that I used in all my videos can be found in the video description down below. I do not put all the stuff from every video. I'm gonna put the jack and the jack stands down there just in case you don't have the jack and jack stands. If you are looking for chalk blocks, I can put those there for you as well. I mean, they're pretty cheap. I just haven't got any yet. Uh, I grew up putting wood behind the tires. Now, so uh, moving up to some chalk box will be all fancy. So, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for, for checking out another video of Sellers Flipping Cars. 
Man, I, I love making these videos for you guys, and I love hearing all the feedback and comments, even if they're negative comments, because guess what? We're not all perfect, guys. I want to answer the questions and comments that you guys have about the channel in the videos that I put up there for you, because it's my goal to help you out and save money and get your vehicle back up and running for a cheap cost to you. That way you can put more money towards you and your family. So guys, thank you so much. I'm Zachary, and until next time, you'll keep on wrenching everyone. Take care.